The Federal Trade Commission Safeguards Rule. The Federal Trade Commission Safeguards Rule requires dealers to develop a written security plan that describes how to protect customer information. The plan must be appropriate to the dealership's size and complexity, the nature and scope of its activities, and the sensitivity the customer information that it handles. As part of its plan, every dealer must designate one or more employees or an owner to coordinate its information security program. You will need to identify the risk to the customer information and evaluate the effectiveness of your current safeguards for controlling risk to, consu to consu customer information. Dealers are also required by the Federal Trade Commission to design and implement a safeguards program, regularly monitor and test it, and only work with business partners that also maintain the appropriate security safeguards. The requirements for the Federal Trade Commission safeguards rule is designed to be flexible for the dealers. Dealers should implement safeguards appropriate to the size of the dealership. For example, some smaller dealers might choose to put their safeguard programs in one single document while other larger dealers may put their plans in several documents, say, for example, one to cover information technology, technology division and another to describe the training program for employees. Similarly, a dealer may decide to designate a single employee to coordinate safeguards or, or the dealer may assign this responsibility to several employees who will work together. In addition, Dealers must consider and address any unique risks raised by their business operations, such as the risks raised when employees access customer data from their homes or other off-site locations, or when a customer data is tr transmitted electronically outside the dealer network. There are three areas of the safeguards rule. Uh, safeguards rule requires dealers to assess the risk of customer information in all their areas, including what are particularly important to su information security. We need to cover em employee management and training, information systems, and detecting system management and failures. Dealers should consider implementing the following practices. Checking references or doing background checks before hiring employees who will have access to customer information. Ask every new employee to sign an agreement to follow your company's confidentiality and security standards for handling customer information. Limiting access to customer information to employees who have reason to see it and controlling access to sensitive information by requiring all dealer employees to use strong passwords that must be changed on a regular basis. Using password activated screensavers to lock employee computers after a period of activity is a great idea as well. Developing policies for appropriate use and protection of laptops, cell phones, or other mobile devices is imperative. For example, make sure all dealership employees store these devices in a secure place when not in use. You should regularly remind all employees of your dealership's policy and the legal requirement to keep information secure and confidential. You might even consider posting reminders about the responsibility for security in areas where the customer information is stored, like file rooms. Always require employees who use personal computers that access customer data to use protections against viruses, spyware, and other unauthorized intrusions. You might even consider disciplinary action for employees that violate security policies. Be sure to prevent terminated employees from accessing customer information by immediately deactivating their passwords and usernames and taking other appropriate measures. Make sure you always dispose of customer information in a secure way. You can shred papers containing customer financial information so the information cannot be read or accessed. You must destroy or erase data properly when disposing of computers, disks, CDs, hard drives, laptops, cell phones, and other electronic media or hardware containing your customer financials and personal information. Always take steps to preserve the security and confidentiality of customer information in the event of a breach. If a breach to your network occurs, take immediate action to secure any information that has been compromised. For example, if a computer connected to the internet is compromised, disconnect the computer net from the internet immediately. Always notify customers, law enforcement, other businesses, and in some instances, you'll even need to notify the state in the event of a security breach.